point. This is not a USB flash drive. This is a bad USB. And watch what happens when you plug it into your computer. Into the laptop it goes, and then hands off. Right, it's going to your Windows Start. It's just typing in there, Windows Security Settings. Okay, and oh, antivirus. I wonder what he wants to do with that. Is it gonna disable the antivirus? I think it may just do that. Real-time protection, that's off. Okay, it even able to respond to prompts like the Windows Administrator prompt. Check this out, disabling everything. So far, haven't touched the keyboard. All right, what else is it doing? All right, opening up Chrome. Hmm, interesting. Which channel do you think it's gonna go to? Yeah, my channel. Rickroll, anyone? What is absolutely crazy about this and why it's so effective is that the antivirus on your computer doesn't think there's anything wrong, so it doesn't try to stop it. That is because when you plug this into your computer, it doesn't recognize it as an external storage like it normally would, but rather it makes the computer think that this is just a regular keyboard. And because it's just a keyboard, your computer will happily take instruction from it. So anything that you can type, you can make it automatically do. So what do you think would happen if someone like me, for example, left 15 of these USB sticks around town? Would people actually stick it into their computers? Well, we're about to find out. Now, before we get out there, I'm gonna be clear. The, I'm gonna use regular USB flash drive that contain just one file on them. If somebody clicks on it, the only thing it will do is it will open up a single page website, so nothing nefarious here. Of course, if I was a real hacker, that file will contain ransomware to spread to every device on the network, or could even bypass their antivirus with something called a beef attack, as I've showed in a previous video. Out of these 15 USB flash drives that I'm gonna leave around time, how many do you think will fall for it? My guess is probably five or less. Well, there's only one way to find out, so my first stop is gonna be at my local supermarket. Let's go. Okay, one down, 14 to go. Number two. Okay, all 15 have been dropped off all over town. Some are actually handed in as like lost property. And um, now we wait and see what happens. Seven hours later. <sighs> Okay, it's 9 p.m. now after that hectic Dallas storm and so far absolutely nothing. So it kind of gives me hope. Maybe people are smarter than we think. Well, that was short-lived. It's now the next day and we have so far 11 bytes out of the 15 USB sticks. That means it's 11 people that have picked up the USB stick, stuck it into their computer and clicked on that file. That is a little bit insane. That could have been 11 people who just opened up a back door to some creep to spy on their kids, switching on their computer's camera remotely, and who knows what else. So the lesson here is pretty darn simple. Don't plug anything into your computer that you don't know what it is, no matter how tempting it is. Now, if for some reason you absolutely positively need to see what's on that drive, use a standalone computer that has the latest antivirus isn't connected to your network, it doesn't have any personal storage files or personal accounts on that computer, scan that device first to make sure there's nothing on it. And even then, frankly, you cannot be 100% sure either. Look, I did speak about a way to bypass the antivirus earlier with something called Beef. You can check out that video right over here, or you can check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe if you haven't done that already, and I'll see you in this video or this video, or I'll see you in both. Let's go.